Hi, I'm Ellen from Oka and Okra. Here's Hi, Gigi. And we are just coming out to the caravan to do some work, but I wanted to show you what we do each day. So on our walk over, we do a bit of a garden observation every day. And that involves checking all our veggies and pulling off pests. So we've had some um, white cabbage moth caterpillars here that I've just been pulling off each day and feeding some chickens and we've had some aphids and the aphids I literally just yeah um, run my fingers along the leaves which smooshes a whole bunch of them I'm not sure that's the official term smoosh um, just to give the plant a bit of a, a chance a healthy plant is gonna do all right with some pests anyway and also pests are going to get to a critical point where in population where those predators are going to come in so you know dependent on your crop and how much you want to make sure you have to eat um you might decide to just let them go and see what predators you come also obviously having some beautiful companion planting is going to help with that as well so um you can see these are our broccoli that we put in ages ago. Some more aphids down there. Just right in around the leaves. So again, I'm just running my fingers up. I can't see any caterpillars today. Having said that, you don't always see them. Sometimes you don't know they're there till you feel them. Our pyrethrin has a flower, so that's another pesticide, a natural one. Our strawberries up here. Again, these have pretty much suffered on neglect. I don't water these gardens barely at all, so they've been mostly living off rain. This one's got some fruit coming on, some more flowers. Our lettuce has gone to seed because we haven't actually come out and picked nearly as much lettuce as I thought, so I had two that I pulled out that are completely gone. These two were the, the stronger and dealt with that lack of watering a bit more, so I'm letting this one go to seed. And possibly this one, we'll see how we go for next year. Oh, sorry, these are cauliflower, obviously, not broccoli. The ones over there must be broccoli. So again, checking the leaves. These ones look really big and healthy. And you see we've got our cauliflower finally starting to come on there. And of course, along with it, we've had some aphids. So just running my fingers along this one. You see in there, this is what I'm talking about. Those spots. Again, since I did the pulled a bunch of caterpillars off earlier in the week, I don't I haven't seen any more. And then over here. Our um, chard's going all right. Again, barely any water in here. Um, you can see that these purple cabbages, this one's a bit smooshed in here because the um, this is our crop and roll and you remember we put that Hugo culture base in and that's fallen a bit, which has sort of meant that this and the broccoli at that end have dropped. So it's gotten a bit smooshed, unfortunately, by this tower, but it's all right. But you can see the comparison with the um, these purple leaf plants, how they're not getting attacked by the pests in the same way, which is really interesting. So that's good to keep note of for our next go. We've got some more, looks like cauliflower to me. Maybe all the surviving ones were cauliflower. I thought we had some broccoli, but who knows. Again, you can see this one's been pretty well attacked by those caterpillars. So just making sure I keep on top of that a bit better. Chickens love them. And then just running my fingers along to get rid of any aphids. Same with the cabbage coming along. You can see this one's had a really hard time. So it's lost a lot of leaves and 
it's had more aphids on it than the others because it was a, a less healthy plant to start with because of this drop. So these have been in as seedlings from April and we're only just getting some produce now. So they're really long-term crops, those ones. All right, so we've had a check. We've had an observation and a pest check of this garden. And we're going to head across to the garden near our caravan and do the same thing. So we've come into the caravan paddock. And I'm just doing the same thing. So we've got our beetroot here that was planted the same time as those um, winter crops up there. So you can see the probably because of where these have been planted. I planted them for leaves rather than bulbs. But you can see the actual beetroot themselves aren't particularly impressive. But we've had lots of salad leaves off this, which has been really nice. No pests that I can see. We've got these are the seeds that I did with my niece all coming up. So you've got kale and lettuce in there. Coming down, hi Gigi, to the bed we've been working on. So this has just had its 15 minutes of water for today. So back here, we've got uh, a pomegranate tree that one of the owners wanted. That this part's um, not being supported anymore, so I'll keep an eye on that. This was a blueberry that got blown over and absolutely trashed in the windy storms. Um, it's probably getting a bit too much sun here, but I want it to put where it would get watered, so I might pop that down here so it's getting a bit more shade. But I thought it was dead and it's come back a little bit green, so we'll see how we go. This is the pear tree that's going to go in the centre of that bed, and that was bare for winter, so that's got some beautiful leaves sprouting. It's also got its ground stock sprouting, so I want to be careful of that. And that was there when it was bought. I don't think that's a fungus. I think that's some kind of seal that they've put um, to close that. It's definitely hard. It feels like a paste. So here's our plants that I planted not long ago. Our basil and tomatoes at the back. You can see the tomatoes are really coming a bit more upright. Basil. Got this um, one is parsley. <laughs> um, laying down a little bit but it feels healthy and it's got some new leaves coming through. Our eggplants, this guy's a bit wonky, they might need a little bit of support, I'm not sure, we'll see how they go. More parsley so you can see this white leaf's not particularly happy but these ones taking over again we've got some new growth down there. Chives, capsicum, this one should be coriander, yes, and that's putting on this darker shade I guess because it's in full sun I'm not sure coriander's um hey something I've never had huge success with so we'll see and more capsicum I'm not seeing any pests on anything in here so far so keeping an eye out we've got our strawberries we painted planted just the other day so this is the one that had fruit on so they may or may not keep fruiting now they've transplanted it. it. might have a bit of a shock. But generally they're looking pretty happy. So the problem with these guys is they might, because I've made those little compost pockets in this clay soil, they might have a boost when they get to that compost and then go stagnant for a while and not grow very much when they hit that clay and have a bit more of trouble. I'm hoping that by that stage the soil in this bed will have brought some nutrients down and be helping them out a bit. But we'll see. Keep an eye on that. All right, make a list of jobs to do. So I have to empty this out. It's rain or it's sorry from the sprinklers come in there. So that's a bit of a work. This heap needs turning. And I'm going to turn it into this heap. So this was the one where I was sieving our original heap and the bigger bits were going back in here. So it's got a few layers. And as I'm going with that, I'm turning the other one into it. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I've sort of stuffed myself up with space. And I don't want to turn this all the way over here. That's a big job. 
um, so this way I'm combining the two and we'll end up with a bit more in this bay and then we can start again and next time that turns we can turn it over to the end bay so that one will be the finished one again and start over here and that'll help us get it in the right order so that we're turning into the direct neighboring bay.